observational studies like these, suggesting dairy might not be so bad, can be confounded by extraneous factors, such as the fact that people who eat more cheese tend to be of higher socioeconomic class. Uh, fine, but what about this interventional study, a randomized crossover trial which compared a high-fat cheese diet to a high-fat meat diet to a low-fat diet, a high-cheese diet, cheese, which is loaded with saturated fat, a high-meat diet, meat, which is loaded with saturated fat, versus carb, a low-fat diet, and people ended up with the same cholesterol levels. Let's see how they did it. Half the study was paid for in part by the dairy industry, and the other half paid for by dairy, 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 and dairy. If you're the dairy industry, and you're trying to design a study to show that a high-cheese diet doesn't raise cholesterol, how would you go about doing that? Anyone remember this video? It's one of my favorites. The beef industry was in the same pickle as the cheese industry. Beef has saturated fat, which raises cholesterol, which raises the risk of dying from our number one killer. What's an industry to do? So they designed a study where they added beef, and cholesterols went down. How is that possible? Here's the two diets. They added beef, and the cholesterols went down. They did this by cutting out so much dairy, pork, poultry, fish, and eggs that their overall saturated fat intake was cut in half. They cut saturated fat levels in half, and the cholesterol levels went down. Well, duh, uh, they could have swapped in Twinkies and said snack cakes lower your cholesterol, or frosting, or anything. OK, so now that you know the trick, let's go back to this study. How are you going to get a high-fat cheese diet and a high-fat meat diet to have anywhere near the same saturated fat level as a diet with neither, unless Wait, don't tell me. What, they added coconut oil or something to the other diet? They added so much coconut oil and cookies to the so-called low-fat diet that they were able to sufficiently raise the level of saturated fat to cause a similar rise in cholesterol. That's how you can make a cheese or meat-rich diet look like it doesn't raise cholesterol. That reminds me of the desperation evident in this study that compared the effects of dairy cheddar cheese to a non-dairy cheddar cheese called Daya. Uh, milk consumption has plummeted in recent years as people have discovered plant-based alternatives like soy milk and almond milk, and now there's plant-based cheese alternatives? What's the National Dairy Council to do? How are you going to design a study that shows it's healthier to eat cheese? Uh, design a study where cheese causes less inflammation than the vegan alternative. They got their work cut out for them. They is no health food by any stretch, but definitely well, three times less saturated fat than cow cheese. So I give up. How could you possibly show more inflammation from Daya? Well, there is one fat that may cause more inflammation than milk fat palm oil. In fact, it may raise cholesterol levels as much as trans fat laden partially hydrogenated oil. Yeah, but what are you telling me? They like slip the Daya group some extra palm oil on the side? Yes! Can you believe it? They compared cheese to Daya plus palm oil. So much extra palm oil that the vegan alternative meal ended up having the same amount of saturated fat as the cheese meal. Uh, that's like proving tofu is worse than beef by doing a study where they compared a beef burger to a tofu patty stuffed with lard. Oh wait, the meat industry already did that but at least they had the decency to concede that replacement of meat by tofu in the habitual diet would probably not usually be accompanied by the addition of lard.